check the Kurigana Hammer page on the Mii Fighters, and uh, Mii Sword Fighter was very clearly labeled Mii Sword Spider. I actually didn't know that. Yeah, it was one of those Easter eggs. My favorite was uh, <laughs> Ness's back throw. <laughs> Ebola, Ebola back throw. Ebola back throw. That was, that was the best. Uh, Luigi down throw, the down throw apocalypse. Down throw to apocalypse was also my, it was really good, yeah. And then what was Bowser's up throw? It was like Apocalypse Reincarnated or Luigi. Uh, that was like one of the later ones because like Bowser didn't always have it. Yeah. So yeah. I think I just never saw that one before. But yeah, that's that's also really good. Okay, anyway, getting into this game, uh, the Zelda does have that reflector. Uh, most of the time, Zeldas use it as a defensive option in terms of getting out of combos, but it is a reflector nonetheless. That is a thing that the Star Fighter can do. That uh, the gust of wind to. Ooh, speaking of gust oh of wind. Oh my god. Ooh, you're not the only one who can throw out tornadoes. Yeah. I love that upbeat. That Zelda upbeat is it's just so. Wow, the micro spacing from John managed to avoid that down air, which it wouldn't have gotten the hard spike at that point, but that soft spike stays out for a long time and can put, you know, the opponent in a really bad position. As it stands right now, look at all of these hits that John is connecting. That uh, that wind didn't. Uh, what is it called? Cause tornado? Meet tornado? What's a uh, huh? Dorian? Is that is that in bad taste? What to call it the Dorian? Call or, what that? Uh, the me me wind move. Oh, the tornado move. Yeah, I don't know what that means though. Uh, the hurricane Dorian. I don't know. Oh. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I had to ask whether it was appropriate, even though I already. Yeah, knew no, it was. definitely isn't. <sighs> you All gotta right. go with one of the older ones. Hits That's a, true. Hits a, hits a, uh, uh, Ivan. Hurricane, Hurricane Ivan. Ivan, Sandy, Ike. Sandy! Gotta be one of those, like, ineffectual hurricanes, you know? I definitely got off from work, so. Hurricane Irene, I think. That was one, right? Mm hmm. All right, anyway, natural disasters aside. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, pretty even stocks right now. I love I'm the adaptation. pretty even percent on that Sorry, last I, have to, I just have to comment on the adaptation from zero to none. The fact that he's saving his double jump and then doing double jump. Uh, he's going to like, the double jump Nehru's love to counteract Don Numbers' is, uh, those wind gusts, those tornadoes that he's throwing, those, ir those Irenes. Um, but uh, the, there is counterplay to that, of course, that if John waits for that, he is just a sitting duck, and then he can land one of those uh, one of those gusts of wind to an uppy at the ledge again. Mm -hmm. And all right, I, I gotta I gotta turn up the hype just a little bit because this is actually they are both in the red. The last stock. Do you know the Ooh. record between these two? The pair. I don't know how often they fight, but yeah, I can actually kind of see why Numbers uh, chose to go uh, Sword Fighter versus Zelda, just Ooh. for the fact that like he has a reflector. Uh, but yeah, really good stuff. Running in and getting that back air. And he's going to be getting rid of Kalos and FD. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, he wasn't trying to reflect the... Uh, was he trying to reflect the Phantom that much? Every time that he, he summoned the... That Zero Dawn summoned the Phantom, he would just do the... The, the, the Reflect. He'd run yeah. away and do the Reflect. But I mean, that's pretty risky. Uh, just really? Interesting. I mean, it's I, 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 the, one of the ideas behind this, I think, is that John Numbers' me Sword Fighter does kind of feel like a counterpick character, you know? For Zelda? Um, yeah. Yeah, and so by switching it up, he might not be as practiced in this particular matchup. Uh, we'll see, though. So far, you know, even though he might not be practiced in the matchup, uh, Zero to None might just not, like his Zero Suit might not be practiced enough to deal with yeah. John Numbers' me. Sword Fighter actually getting the reflect on that laser. Oh man, the short throw on that disc doing tons of, uh, adding tons of damage. And this is something we didn't really see last time around was John Numbers taking a very passive projectile backseat role. I mean, you know, Zelda doesn't really allow him to do that so much. 
Uh, whereas this time around, especially because Zerudanon isn't exactly playing a rushdown type of Zero Suit, as you know some other Zero Suit players opt to do. And so John has kind of been hanging back, doing his thing, throwing these projectiles and getting chip damage after chip damage. Wow, that almost did it. Oh, the spike. Ah. See, the, like, the tough thing about this is that, like, you go in your counterpick character to, like, try and cover a bad matchup, which I'm assuming that's what this is. And it's just, like, you got to... This is where you have to, like, work on the polish. So it's, like, you can't expect too much uh, if you haven't put in the work. Yeah, one thing I will say about uh, his oh. Zero Suit is that it's a little bit... It's more patient than I would expect from Zero Suit and maybe more patient than could be considered optimal. Yeah, it's probably... I mean, like, I would say it's a Zelda main playing Zero Suit. Yeah. You know? It's like he's more accustomed to, like, a specific play style. And, uh, yeah. But, like, he can definitely has the tools to do it because uh, Miso Sword Fighter is a character that, like, you can try... You can get in on him and, like, overwhelm him. Uh, he, he has pretty good normals, but they're not the best. So, like, you yeah. can definitely get around it. It's just, like, what? knowing how to bait out and dodge his Nair, which is probably, like, the biggest thing for when you're up close, because it is a big sweeping move, but yeah. it's still not super fast. I will say that uh, I, I feel like uh, he's not quite playing f as fast as I see other Zero Suits. You know, like, he's I don't think he's short hopping that much. Uh, sorry, not short hopping, rather, but uh, fast falling. Mm -hmm. You know, he kind of gets the peak of his jump pretty often. You know, whereas, whereas other Zero Suits are do like the fast fall neutral airs and that sort of thing. Oh, he's just standing in place. He's like, I don't want to move when I don't have to. He is also jumping quite a bit. I don't necessarily know if Me Sword Fighter has a direct answer to that. But uh, you never want to get too comfortable jumping against John because he will pick up on those sorts of habits and find some way to punish them. He's dead, though. There it is. 167% though on. Uh, yeah, so much it was a sneeze will knock out. At his the same top. time, rage is a thing. Yeah. And zero suit. I, we haven't really seen his combo game. It seems that he takes a much more zoner style to zero suit, which is actually kind of a refreshing thing to see. Like, most Zero Suit players do not opt to go for this much of a, uh... I mean, you, you gotta know. still gotta push your advantage. So, like, when he lands that hit, he's gotta, like... See, like, I'm not sure uh, what her strings are, but, like... I think he's... Gotta no, take I, more I, than I think a, he's also respecting the counterattack option because any counterattack will pretty much spell curtains for him. Mm -hmm. So he wants to be a little bit more patient. And, I mean, I think that patience now is paying off. You know, John does realize that he needs to get a kill, and I think that he's gone a bit more of a, you know, trying to actually approach mentality. And as a result, that's when this more patient style of Zero Suit yeah. seems to actually be working out. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, can he mash that fast enough? He does. <laughs> I actually thought that was going to be, like, the Halo combo. Yeah. You know? All right, I, I respect it, trying to read the role, because that definitely... Would have put him in a position to maybe seal the stock? I don't think so, actually. Because, like, even uh, like upbeat center stage on PS2, uh, not going to happen. You know, another thing about just sort of the nature of this match, considering that, you know, zero to none, it didn't start off too great for him, but he had to warm the character up. And I think that he's starting to get more, you know, reaccustomed to Zero Suit and her style of play. Because, yeah, look at this much more effective in terms of where he's placing his hitboxes. John is still kind of finding it difficult to get in and find meaningful hits. That side B still not enough to do it. It is quite stale at this point. And that should be curtains. Yep, just gonna charge the up smash. Doesn't want to mess around with anything. Zero actually doing a pretty good job of like sealing the gap. Like he had only uh, when numbers took Zero to None's first stock, he had only taken about 60 damage, and now like only 60 damage uh, between the two players on their last stock. It's actually not really that much of a lead. You know, it's only just oh, what happens in this situation. Now it's just like right now the ball's in Zero to None's corner where he can like even it up, and the then it, you know if John like is able to push. To just oh the the one thing I'd say is that John has seemed really comfortable when they're both at those lower percents, and he manages to end up taking it home. It, it, 
it felt like when he had to fish for a kill, that's when Zero Nun started doing really well. Mm -hmm. When he was on the back foot and couldn't get hit by the kill move, you know, John was kind of struggling. But then as soon as they got to that last stock and they were on even footing, his game plan cemented itself once again. And considering he just kept him in disadvantage, eventually he found that finishing blow with the up air.